What's going on guys, it's Omniarch and today I'm going to bring you a brand new video really quick just talking about how you can actually grow your channel on this platform. Now I know I don't have the biggest channel in the world, but I do get tons of messages all the time from people saying, hey, how do you grow your, your channel? Or hey, can you give me some tips on how to grow my channel? Or can you shout me out and give me free subs? And I always get really fucking pissed at those ones. It's fine. But either way, it seems like a ton of you guys want to know how you can grow a channel on YouTube because a ton of you guys might think that I have a lot more subs than you, you know, 2,500 or whatever it is at the time of making this is maybe more than what you have if you only have 20 or 50 or 150 or whatever. So no matter what your size is, if you're smaller than me, you probably have been asking me, you know, how do you grow your channel? How did you get so many subs or whatever? And here I wanted to bring you just a few things uh, that I know for sure to help you grow your channel, like guaranteed. The first thing I don't want to say is that it takes a long time to grow a channel and if you're looking to have a like 100 100,000 plus subs and if you're looking to do that in less than a year uh, you're probably better off just not having a YouTube channel and I know that that sounds maybe harsh um, but it's very 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 rare that somebody goes from zero to a uh, hundred thousand plus subs in uh, in only a year i don't know any cases where that's happened um i know leafy blew up really fast but he he didn't even start at zero when he blew up he had a couple tens or hundreds of thousands before he blew up uh so you know i really don't know any youtuber that isn't like a, a vivo channel or something that you know goes from zero to a hundred thousand in less than a year so if you're looking to have a giant youtube channel definitely look for the long-term goals you have to be willing to do this for a long time personally i have been doing this for almost two years and I'm at just about 2,500 and if I had known some of the tips that I have been using lately uh, I would have gone grown faster but I was doing it the way I was doing it before and it wasn't really working so I switched it up so I have been growing a little bit better the past couple of months but uh, either way you know definitely like I said long term you have to think long term uh, this isn't going to happen in a year or two years you know if you if this thought of having under 3,000 subs two years from now kills you then just don't don't bother you have to you have to go into it knowing that one day you will make it even even though it's you know it might be four four years five years six years you know you have to look at the long term and you have to be patient with the growth you can't force it it's not going to happen overnight uh and things along those lines you know those you just have to think really far in the future so if you're looking to have this happen really fast uh just don't just there's nothing here I can't nobody on the internet can tell you a trick or a hack or anything uh, that will get you there so the first thing that I really want to say is you have to be a somewhat unique on YouTube you can't do exactly what somebody else does you know if you do exactly what rice gum does or if you do exactly what leafy does or if you do exactly what anybody else on the internet does without bringing something else to the table you're not going to grow and uh, that's just because nobody wants to watch uh, more of the exact same content from somebody that they're not subscribed to if they want to see leafy's content they go to him if they want to see anything else they go to the channel that they that is big for doing that thing so you have to do something uh you know a little bit different and you have to bring something new to the table and i'm not naive i know that everything has been done already and by that i just mean you know original ideas and original youtube ideas are very 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 hard to come by uh they're not frequent they're not common and you know even people that have recently blown up have been doing videos that are similar to other people's work it can be similar but you have to add something to it you know you have to bring some sort of unique personality or maybe you have really really good editing skills or maybe you have just a really nice setup where you have you know maybe you added face cam or you know something like that you know there has to be some some defining factor some some key difference uh, between you and other people who might be doing similar things to you that way you know it gives subscribers or people who see your content a reason to actually sub to you uh, because if you're not differentiating differentiate if you're not differentiating your content enough there's no reason for people to sub or to come back because you're not bringing anything new to the table the other thing that i want to talk about and this is something very 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 important if you're trying to grow a youtube channel is you have to think when you're when you're making a video right if you are making a if you're producing a video you're coming up with a video idea or you're recording something or if you have a video in mind already that you want to make the main question you have to ask yourself is why would somebody share this video and that's very crucial and basically what that means is if you posted a video to YouTube 
for what reason would somebody watch that a complete stranger would would they watch it and then want to share it with a friend uh, there has to be some reason it has to either be very informative it has to be very funny it has to be unique something along those lines it has to be shareable you know if somebody watches the video and just thinks oh that was fine like it was a fine video uh, it's whatever it was well made whatever um, but if they don't think oh my god so and so would really like this video or man I think some of my followers on Twitter would really want to see this video uh, I'm gonna share it you know if that's not going through somebody's mind when watching your video if it's not so good or so creative or whatever that they won't share it you're probably not going to grow you have to have some videos on your channel that are share worthy and that's maybe only true for the beginning of YouTube you know obviously as you get bigger and bigger uh, you are going to be better placed in the in the algorithms you're going to be suggested more on like the search and on the sidebars and things along those lines and as you get bigger YouTube the YouTube machine uh, will start to take over and start to promote your channel for you because they say okay he got to this point on his own he probably makes good content we're gonna promote his content and you know hopefully people like it and they'll watch it and we'll continue to get ad revenue off of his content but until that point you have to think why would someone share this and also here's another tip you have to make the title and thumbnail stand out in some way and basically you know I'm not saying uh, be clickbaity but at the same time uh, clickbait plays a large role in growing YouTube channel and if you don't want to clickbait your videos um, I don't know what to say I mean nobody likes to clickbait okay nobody wants to be misleading nobody wants to you know misguide people uh, and, and use people for you know views and money or whatever but in this day and age of YouTube you know you have to stand out and there has to be some reason why someone should click on your video you know there's thousands thou millions there are millions of videos on YouTube for anybody to watch uh, and thousands in the same category as yours so if you are trying to you know get people to watch then you need to have a reason for someone to click on it and even if it's a tiny bit misleading you know that's okay as long as the content that's there is good and you can make them laugh or you can entertain them or whatever because ultimately you know if they do click on it and they do leave the video entertained and happier or whatever then you've done your job even if it might have been a little bit misleading to get them into the video as long as the video was enjoyable then I would say that it was a solid exchange you know they they are happy with what they watched and then you get the view uh, and it's a, it's a solid exchange if you are clickbaiting and the video is actually garbage uh, and there's nothing there there's nothing no worthwhile content and everything you're going to get a ton of dislikes you're gonna get a ton of hate content or a co comments basically you're gonna get a ton of hate comments uh, and overall it's not gonna look very good for you as a content creator or very good on your channel so I would say you know you do have to have a catchy thumbnail and a catchy title uh, and it, it might have to be a little bit clickbaity just to get people to watch your videos so that way you can you know you have to stand out from everybody else in your category uh, but you know it has to be a solid good video it has to be good it has you have to entertain people you have to either make them laugh or teach them something or whatever uh, and if you can do that then people will leave the video satisfied happy and they won't mind I guess that you clickbaited because there's tons of people who do it and it's still a thing and whatever so you know I'm not saying to clickbait but I am saying you do have to stand out uh, and you do have to make good content to back up your claims in your title or your thumbnail uh, and that's pretty much it so hopefully these few tips helped you guys out I know there was no magic in this video there was no there was no tip and trick that would really just ex explode your channel um, but like I said these are crucial you have to do this you have to stand out you have to think years from now long term if you want a giant channel you got to think three plus years from now minimum because sometimes it takes even longer than that and you have to make some videos that people want to share they have to be willing to share your videos with friends family whatever because word of mouth advertising is the most powerful form of advertising to date even with internet and magazines and everything you know that is still to this day the best form of, of marketing because people are willing to trust the recommendations of their friends and family over a random YouTube ad uh, so word of mouth advertising is the best by far so your videos have to be good enough to where some people would share them with friends and family hopefully this video helped you and if it did I hope I would have earned your like hopefully you'll drop a like on this video before you go it would really 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 help on my channel you guys have been killing it lately and I really do appreciate it if you're new around here make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one and comment down below telling me any other tips or tricks that you might have and if this video helped you at all and we can have a little chat or a discussion down below and that's pretty much it guys so thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.